hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Temi Banjo and if it's your first time here welcome to this amazing channel thank you for joining us today and today we're going to be talking about how to fix your slow metabolism and I'm going to be explaining that to you like a five-year-old so if you're interested in this video make sure you keep on watching <music> Alright guys, so please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and if you do like this content and you want to see more of this, please give, the, give this video a thumbs up because it really helps with the rating of my video. So without further ado, let's get right into today's information. So what really is metabolism? The first thing I'm going to do is explain what metabolism is to you in like a layman's term so metabolism is just the rate which your body breaks down food and you know turns it into nutrient turns it into energy for your body that is the whole definition of metabolism how food in your body is broken down turned into nutrients and energy it's that simple so people usually like to confuse having a slow metabolism or getting a slow metabolism with reducing your calories no you don't need to reduce your calories in fact you need to up your calories so your body will not be deceived that you do not have enough food in your body but it is more of watching and making sure you track your macronutrients which are your carbs your vegetables your protein and your fat intake those are the main and very important things you need to track when trying to fix your slow metabolism so you need to track your macronutrients instead of your calories because who cares you can be on a 500 calorie per day meal and have just starch in that 500 calorie food. You can have just rice and stew and say you've had a low calorie food and you had just rice. Honey, hello. It's not meant to be so. So you need to track your macronutrients. Make sure you're getting the right amount of nutrients. Make sure you're getting the right amount of food the good classes of food that you need in your body those are the things that will help your metabolism so i'm going to be explaining how exactly you are going to fix that your slow metabolism because i've also been there so the first and most popular reason is going to be intermittent fasting i know i know you guys are tired of hearing the word intermittent fasting like it is everywhere yes you need to do the intermittent fasting and it is the new craze because people are just noticing how good it is the benefits and so much more so if you want to see a very detailed video about intermittent fasting how it works what it is and what it does for the body please make sure you check out this video it is very very important that you do check out this video because i have a detailed video here talking about intermittent fasting and everything it entails so make sure you check that out so when you fast you reduce your insulin that way your body is able to use stored fat and give you energy that way your body is able to break down the food in your body and also by that it is helping you to fix your slow metabolism so when you are eating your body cannot be doing the metabolism for you it is there collecting nutrients collect sorry collecting food collecting everything you are downing in your stomach rather than breaking down your food and hasting up your metabolism that is the main reason why you should fast so next would be that you should reduce your carb and sugar intake because those two things spike up insulin in your body especially sugar but sugar is either broken down faster than carbs so i like to say you should actually be more cautious about your carb intakes your carb intake and make sure you are doing it on the moderate so make sure you're having a very moderate carb intake that way your body is able to burn down that carb almost immediately and when there is no excess carbs in your body which will turn into glucose it moves on to the rest of your body it, it moves on to the rest of your body which would be stored fat and other sources of food that could be in your body that your body will just use to give you energy that way your metabolism is being hasty enough is fast enough to burn down food and by the time your body burns down food immediately and it doesn't have anything to use again you begin to lose weight because your body begins to tap into the reserve which is stored fat that way you'll be able to lose weight so the whole idea of having a good moderate or fast metabolism is having your body burn down food and process it almost immediately you use it that doesn't mean you should be you should abuse the fact that your body burns down food immediately and then you begin to overeat no you shouldn't you should always be cautious of the things you put in your mouth that way you 
train your body to always maintain a slow insulin balance and you know be able to fight insulin resistance and if your body is always in that state you will continually be burning fat because your body will be tapping into, into your reserve which is stored fats to give you energy moving on you should always and always i know i've mentioned this before watch your net carb intake and what do i mean by net carb intake your net carb intake is your total carb intake minus the fiber which doesn't have an effect on your insulin or on your blood sugar so check out the nutrition nutri nutri nutritional facts of everything you are eating make sure you count it and minus the fiber in it most of this processed food always have it on their body or on the wrappers they write the total carbs then you see below it the right of which um, fiber this amount um, sugar this amount so make sure you take that total carb and minus the fiber then that's your net carb i hope that's understood so net carb is total carbs minus fiber so that's how you can track your carb intake so always make sure your carb intake is tracked properly because a high carb means more glucose more work for your body to do your insulin is spiked and you can't fix that slow metabolism honey so be very watchful on your carb intake and if you want a very detailed video on how to count carbs in food in your diet and so on and so forth let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see a detailed video on that finally i would like you to know that you shouldn't be snacking in between meals did i hear you grumble <laughs> anyways why i said you shouldn't be snacking in between meals is because when you eat you spike up your insulin so your insulin is here and after breakfast your insulin begins to go down and then it's time for lunch you spike your insulin again so it goes down again it's time for dinner you spike your insulin again that moment when you begin to spike up your insulin your body can't burn fat your metabolism is taking place and the moment your insulin goes down guess what your metabolism is fixed and you begin to lose weight because your body begins to use stored fat so the moment you are snacking and your body goes from here to here are not here and your body is moving from breakfast to snack to snack to snack to lunch to dinner to another snack to another snack where is the slow metabolism going to end so you do not want to snack between meals because you want your insulin to go down so that your insulin can be fixed and the moment you train your body to do this this will be the norm you will be used to you are not suffering yourself you are just training your body you are giving your body discipline i'm not saying you shouldn't eat nobody said you shouldn't eat eat your breakfast eat your lunch eat your dinner if you have anything to snack on eat it immediately after your breakfast immediately after your lunch or immediately after or before your dinner so that way your body can move like this after breakfast lunch down dinner down instead of like this when your when your insulin begins to move like this <laughs> there's a problem okay other ways you can increase your metabolism and reduce your insulin is by intermittent fasting putting apple cider vinegar in your tea that way your body is able to break down food and also and most importantly drinking a lot of water so those four things are very vital taking the intermittent fasting very seriously putting apple cider vinegar in your tea and drinking a lot of water so with this few points of mind i hope i have been able to convince you and not to confuse you about how to fix a slow metabolism so if these tips really helped you make sure you give this video a thumbs up like i mentioned in the beginning of this of this video and please do not leave keep sticking around with me by checking out my videos which will appear on your screen here and here and i'll love to see you in the next one you are about to click on so let's go bye